Hi there and welcome to the second part. In this part, we will be focusing on creating a responsive version. This part will have four videos, one for tablet, one for mobile landscape and one for mobile portrait. And then as the last bit, we will be focusing on making the menu and the whole navigation responsive. We will be doing this straight in Webflow without any assets previously designed in Sketch for a mobile version, because I think that's the easiest way how to do the designs now. If you remember back then, uh, you had to create a uh, lot of versions for different uh, different devices. So you had like three canvases on side of your designs. But I think the easiest way now is to do just one version uh, to desktop one. And then maybe on side do some assets uh, which are helpful for the mobile version. So something what's shrinking, uh, shrinking down, some images which are wide to have separately done as a new canvas in Sketch or Figma. One thing which I found really interesting as well is that previously you had to resize the canvases and all the assets and it took usually a few hours to create something like that. In this bit, the whole uncut video of all three breakpoints have only 50 minutes, which I think is incredible. And I think that's all I wanted to say. So let's look at how are we going to do that. We will switch to a tablet version. And now we know that everything is broken, but we will see in a bit that that's just by a design. So what we need to check is because we are creating a wider breakpoint for a desktop version, we are doing a one one 1140 as we could see, can see here but the first breakpoint for a tablet version uh, not like this like this is around 992 so we want to be sure that this is also supported in this case and we will do it by this so we want to do sections section we will do padding on side we can do something around 30 which means now that everything will be 30 pixels from the side when it's going to the side what to the to the width uh, which is already breaking and then we will actually change the content width to max width 1140 and we will do 100 100% and let's see how that's going to change and it's already nicely shrinking everything is nicely shrinking that's what we wanted except for the menu where we again since there is no section and content we need to set it properly again which means we will do that there is auto and then here we will do 30 we will see in a bit so we have 30 pixels from side we can now check how that's slice sizing awesome i think that's great menu is fine the items are fine, so we will check the, the, the last, which is 19992, and everything seems to be okay. We might be able to actually do a uh, slightly bigger spacing for the section. So let's try to do something around 40 maybe. Yes, we can do 40, and then for the nav bar, let's do 40 as well. So. We have this and it's shrinking very nicely and that means desktop is done. So let's do the tablet and thanks to it we already set up the main things uh, like the like the section and the content and uh, the shrinking itself for desktop. Some of the stuff as we, we can now see is already doing his, its job as well on the tablet. There are still obviously a few issues which we can address, but everything is starting to work in nicely. So, for example, we don't want this massive menu, right? That seems ridiculous at this point. So we will make it, we will make it 20. And I think for the paddings, 
we can do only 35 now and we will be re re reducing it for each of the each of the breakpoints but since again we're using the section and content for all of the sections except obviously for the menu which i just changed everything is really easy to change because we will change just one property and everything will shrink nicely we will keep the menu button as the last thing because i haven't even uh, created the menu icon so let's do the menu as the last thing because that one is the pain is the most painful one in terms of the, the responsivity because there is the menu which as we can check is appearing somehow and it's going nuts so we will have to address that later but that will be fine all of this is good so let's address the main thing here tablet can go to 991 pixels uh, we might be able to limit it for, let's say, iPad Pro. So let's do that. So let's let's say that we will fit. We will fix it to eight three four, and the design won't go further than eight three four. So how do we do that? Here we can see now that the max width is one one four zero, but it's using the width hundred percent, which slightly doesn't make sense because tablet isn't 1140 but it's now as we can tell from the from the thing something around max of 1991 but since we want to be sort of designerish we can reduce the size to be 834 and it won't go further so we, are, we will do it like this. So 834, we have to also take into account that there are these spot, buttons from size. So this is, it's 70 plus 834. So maybe we can check how it looks without the 70. So if we will do it like this, now it's, lo it's looking probably slightly better. So let's keep it that way. For this particular breakpoint, we want to have this one as this right so it's nicely shrinking like that we don't need probably 2000 here anymore we can do 160 we can do 60 from here so it's nicely shrinking maybe 70 and we will shrink it on a phone cool uh we did this for 160 so we can do here a 60 and 80 we can do here 80 and 80. That's already looking quite nice. All of the stuff again is now max of the width of the section which we already set up. So everything is 764. So once you go further, it's just staying in the middle, which is what we wanted then we will do 80 here we will do also some polishing here so 60 here we can do 70 here for for i for i think for ipad it's fine when the posts are next to each other but for phone we will do it separately so each of those posts will be on its on its row and here i think we can already start putting it into the sort of the polished version like this it's looking quite all right i would still just add to the uh speak speakers home rep uh slightly more from top so it's next to it's not really next to next to the title so let's do 40 events events are looking quite okay except for some really weird alignment here uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah let's center it and then for the details let's center it as well and we are pretty much okay with this one in the in the mobile version we will put it below it yeah i think it's still okay it's visible 
here we can actually uh, either decrease the size of the text or we can just put it below so we will do it like that let's do it like this one sec so what's the issue here uh do right cta heading we will do 20 30. yes let's do 30. awesome we can do here 60 and 50 and the footnote can stay almost similar 40 40. and if we check the last breakpoint that's like the, the the smallest possible size for the for the particular breakpoint i think that's the best way how to always check it we are still keeping the structure of the website for from desktop on on uh, on ipad and for mobile we will start putting things uh below each other i think that's the easiest way how to do it so that's it in the next part we will be creating a mobile landscape don't forget that you can get the whole website and get all the elements and see how it's built uh, via cloning it on Webflow Showcase. I'll leave the link in the description and uh, I'll see you in the next video.